Hello everyone, uh, my name is John Battle and this is scenario two. Uh, so the scenario calls um, for us being a commercial rated pilot. Uh, a friend has asked us to cover him as he's been offered a trip with jet time. So we agree to fly our local radio DJ, um, station DJ around the city to cover the traffic watch segment during the morning rush. Right, during our flight, there's a car crash and we've been asked to circle at a low altitude. How do you handle the situation and what are your considerations? Um, so I guess, I'm going to list off a few considerations here. The first one would be, um, is this a congested or an uncongested area? The scenario asks, or the scenario says that it's over a city. So we're going to assume it's over a, uh, a congested area and straight from uh, FAR 91.119, it says congested areas like cities, towns, or an open assembly of people, uh, we need to remain at least a thousand feet above the highest obstacle within a horizontal radius of 2,000 feet of the aircraft. Um, you know, the, the big thing about flying over the city is that there's a lot of obstacles. It could be a lot of radio antennas, uh, it could be buildings, bridges, all of that. So we're gonna need to, depending on where the car accident is, stay at least a thousand feet above those obstacles near the accident and 2,000 feet horizontally away. Um, you know, I, as we all know, as a pilot, we need to be extremely aware of our surroundings at all times. Um, you know, one thing being it, that this is a car crash, we can't allow ourselves to get distracted by the car crash, uh, anything that would possibly take our attention away from the aircraft. Um, so we need to focus on flying and be very conscious of where those obstacles are and making sure that we're not uh, descending below that thousand foot limit. Um, another thing to consider uh, for altitude um, would be, are we gonna be at an altitude that if we have a power unit or an engine failure, um, would allow us to make an emergency landing without any undue hazards to people and property on the surface. So if we're in a very congested city, there's a lot of buildings, um, it might be too risky for us to fly even a thousand feet above if there's nowhere else to bail. So it might be better for us to fly even higher than that, a couple thousand feet to give us you know, enough glide time to make it to an airport. Um, but it just depends on how big the city is and you know what's in the surrounding area. Um, another thing to consider is what is the current weather? You know, does the visibility allow us to uh, fly at a safe altitude to be able to see the accident? You know, what are the winds? Uh, what's the precipitation? Is it is it rainy? Is it you know freezing rain? Is it you know snow? Things all those other things can uh, play a factor. Um, so we need to know the limitations for for weather. Uh, if we're going to be over the accident for an extended period of time, it's good to know the forecasted weather and know what's coming in uh, to the area. Um, and also, we need to, you know, make, we need to make sure that we're flying in conditions that are within our own personal minimums. Um, another item would be, I would consider, would be airspace. You know, if we're in a big city, maybe we're in Class Bravo airspace that extends from the surface up to ten thousand feet. Do we have the clearance to be there? Um, is there a lot of other traffic in that area? Maybe it's you know close to an approach area, one of the runways. Are we going to be in the way of any other approaching traffic? Um, one other item could, if it's a big accident and maybe emergency services or law enforcement needs to get in like a medevac helicopter, we really want to stay out of their way. Um, uh, and uh, another item would be fuel. So you know originally we had planned to just be monitoring the traffic for the morning rush. If we're staying over this car crash um, for an extended period of time, is that going to put us at risk of running out of fuel? Maybe we didn't load enough fuel to stay over the car crash, so that we need to we need to make sure we have enough fuel to make it back to our home airport. Um, and then external pressures. You know, maybe this job has a certain time that we need to be back. Um, we don't want to feel rushed or you know be forced to make any rash decisions because we're on a tight deadline. Um, so those are some those are the things that I would consider. And you know how I would handle it. It would all depend on you know the area that it's in, you know, all the considerations that I listed. You know, can we safely cover this car crash, um, or do we need to take it from a from a higher altitude? If it's if it's a higher altitude and it's not good enough for whoever is asking us to do it, then we might have to pass on the job. Um, but we need to do it if we are going to do it in the safest manner and within uh, within safe regulations. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's my scenario too. Thanks.